uh, the Director of Ceremonies, Honorable Tsenoli, our guest of honor, Honorable Nale Di Pando, Minister of Science and Technology, Honorable Baleka Mbete, Speaker of the National Assembly of South Africa, and also our host, Honorable Joseph Njovu Yalema, Vice President of SADC Parliamentary Forum, Honorable Speakers, Deputy Speakers, and leaders of delegations, honorable MPs from the KwaZulu Natal Provincial Legislature, His Worship, the Mayor of Ethekweni, Councillor James Numalo, and the councillors here present, honorable Tulisile Jaja, Vice Chairperson of the SADC Parliamentary Forum, Regional Women's Parliamentary Caucus, Honorable members of parliament from the various SADC national parliaments, members of the diplomatic corps, invited observers and resource persons, staff from the SADC national parliaments, SADC PF secretariat, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor for me to welcome delegates to this 37th plenary assembly session of the Southern Africa Development Community Parliamentary Forum, SADC PF. The SADC PF 37th Plenary Assembly Session is significant in that it is a consolidation of the SADC Parliamentary Forum in its adoption and application of the parliamentary procedures and practices in conducting its plenary assembly business. This is the third time SADC PF is conducting its plenary assembly business in parliamentary fashion, having commenced during the 35th plenary assembly session, which was held in Mauritius in June last year. This goes a long way in building SADC PF's capacity and readiness to become a SADC regional parliament when the decision is approved by the SADC Summit of Heads of States and Government. Honorable delegates, the SADC Parliamentary Forum is the voice of parliamentarians in the SADC region and it draws membership from 14 of the SADC parliaments. It provides a platform for parliamentarians as representatives of the people of SADC to consult, <coughs> consider, and dialogue on matters of common interest to the people of the region. The 37th Plenary Assembly Session is one such platform. Distinguished delegates and our guests of honor, it is in the context of providing a platform to discuss matters of common interest and concern to the region that the theme for this 37th Plenary Assembly Session is industrialization for SADC regional development and integration, the role of parliaments. Developing countries that have been able to make the transition from low income to upper middle and high income status, primarily in Asia, have relied on the manufacturing sector as the main source and engine of growth. A key challenge for SADC as a region is to move off an economic growth path built on consumption and commodity exports onto a more sustainable development path based on industrialization. Linked to this is the need to build economic infrastructure and hence the technology base, economies of scale and scope, and the competitiveness of industries leveraging on, among others, the regional infrastructure program. The theme for this plenary assembly session reaffirms the key role of SADC parliamentarians in monitoring the implementation of the SADC industrialization strategy and the roadmap 
as well as the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan at national level in the context of their oversight work. Distinguished delegates, our guests of honor and our hosts, coming to the plenary assembly, it is the policy making and the deliberative organ of SADC PF, which meets twice per year to deliberate and make policy decisions on matters of interest to SADC PF in particular and to the SADC region in general. This 37th plenary assembly session is its first meeting this year. Director of Ceremony, Honorable Senoli, allow me to inform the guest of honor and distinguished delegates as well as our you know, host speaker that this 37th plenary assembly session has drawn delegates from the following countries. And I ask the countries as I call upon your country to stand up so that we can all see you delegates from that country. The National Assembly of Angola, a delegation of four members led by Honorable Pedro Sebastiao, Member of Parliament, Angola. Thank you. The Parliament of Botswana, a delegation of six members led by Honorable Tsireletso, uh, Member of Parliament, Botswana. The Parliament of the Democratic Republic of Congo, a delegation of four members led by Honorable Balama Genkolo Boniface, Member of Parliament. The Parliament of the Kingdom of Lesotho, a delegation of four members led by Honorable Motsamai, Speaker of the National Assembly. The National Assembly of Malawi, a delegation of eight members, led by Honorable Dr. Clement Chiwaya, second deputy speaker. <laughs> the National Assembly of Mauritius, a delegation of three members, led by Honorable Manesi Gobin, member of parliament. The National Assembly of Mozambique, a delegation of four members led by Honorable Antonio de Abreu, Member of Parliament. <coughs> the National Assembly of Namibia, a delegation of 10 members led by Honorable Professor Peter Kachavivi, Speaker of the National Assembly. The National Assembly of Seychelles, a delegation of four members, led by Honorable Dr. Patrick Hemnier, Speaker of the National Assembly. <laughs> the Parliament of South Africa, a delegation of 10 members, led by Honorable Baleka Mbete, Speaker of the Parliament. The Parliament of the Royal Kingdom of Swaziland, a delegation of eight members, led by Honorable Temba Msibi, Speaker of the National Assembly. <laughs> the Parliament of the United Republic of Tanzania, a delegation of seven members, led by Honorable Anna Abdallah, MP. The National Assembly of Zambia, a delegation of 11 members, led by the Right Honorable Justice Dr. Patrick Matbini, SEC, Speaker of the National Assembly. <laughs> Parliament of the Republic of Zimbabwe, a, a delegation of eight members, led by Honorable Advocate Jacob Francis Mudenda, Speaker of the National Assembly. <laughs> and then the SADC PF Secretariat, a delegation of 15 staff members led by myself as the Secretary General. <laughs> the 
In total, honorable guests of honor, we have 14 parliaments attending this plenary assembly session, of which seven delegations are led by speakers and one delegation by a deputy speaker and five I think should be six delegations by members of you know parliament. I think this is you know uh, commendable. Uh, we really want to express our gratitude to the host for whatever tricks she used to achieve a hundred percent you know turnout. <laughs> that is quite you know uh, commendable. In fact, I was telling her that if she ever went to a Sangoma for this thing to happen, <laughs> she should go and pay more money to that Sangoma, <laughs> because this is a job well done. May I also inform the distinguished delegates that the Sadek PF Secretariat has invited observers whom we collaborate with in forum programs and other forum activities, and I hope they are here. As I call your names, please stand up so that we can, you know, see you. Uh, Dr. Steragumena Lawrence Tex, Executive Secretary of SADC uh, from Gaberon, Botswana. Is she here yet? Not yet. Ah, okay. Uh, Dr. Cloud Kabemba, Director, Southern Africa Resource Watch, Johannesburg, South Africa. Not yet here. Uh, Ms. Christine Musisi, UN Women Regional Director, the Nairobi Office, Kenya. Dr. Ozilia Ponga, UN Women South Africa, Multi Country Office, South Africa. Mr. John Makamure, Executive Director of Southern Africa Parliamentary Support Trust, Harare, Zimbabwe. Dr. Asha Mohamud, representing United Nations Population Fund, East and Southern Africa Regional Office, South Africa. And Ms. Chilamo Sinkara Sikazwe, National Program Officer, HIV and AIDS Regional Advisor, Sida Lusaka, Zambia. I'm sure the observers invited, they will come for the plenary assembly session when it starts. So they are likely to come, you know, tomorrow. That's why they are not, you know, uh, here, because the plenary itself starts on Wednesday. Director of Ceremonies and our guest of honor and the distinguished delegates, may I conclude my statement by thanking the government and the parliament of the Republic of South Africa through Honorable Baleke, Baleke Mbete, Speaker of the National Assembly of South Africa, for graciously and meticulously making the arrangements uh, for this 37th Plenary Assembly Session of the SADC Parliamentary Forum in this beautiful tourist resort of Deben. This is all highly appreciated. Before I wish you uh, fruitful deliberations and sit down, let me just bring it to the attention of all the delegates that this is the first time in the history, 17 years, history of Sadiq Parliamentary Forum, that we are having our pledge, this one, which is being hosted in South Africa for the first time. I think this is a big achievement. <laughs> this is quite an accomplishment, you see. So we now have 15 flags instead of the 14 we have had during the last 17 years, you see. This is a PFC, you know, our flag. I wish the distinguished delegates uh, fruitful deliberations. I thank you.